Greetings everyone, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. My name is Mel and I'm your favorite quarantine cutie. Um, I'm here to talk to you guys today about saving. So when I woke up this morning, you know, I knew that I had to film today and I was like, what should I talk about today? Some days I'm like, I'm, you know, are people interested in what I have to talk about, you know, cause I never really know. I just talk about whatever I feel like I want to and see what catches on some of the video. Actually, most of the videos that I thought no one would watch are the ones that are actually viewed the most. So I'm just like, I just should just keep going and just talking about, you know, what feels important to me. Um, what feels important right now is, you know, the stimulus checks are going out. People are getting extra funds. Um, you know, I personally have lots of money coming in. And um, I really had to think about, you know, what I want to do with these funds, what I want to do with my money, how I'm going to use my money to leverage myself a better future. You know, am I going to invest? If I am going to invest, what am I going to invest in? What are those vehicles that are going to get me to my goals? So um, one of the things that I did when I uh, had got a direct deposit um, I have some goals on my digit, which by the way, if you guys don't know what digit is, it's a savings app and it's automatic. It takes money out of your account every single day. You really honestly don't even miss it. Everybody should have one. So if you're someone who struggles with, um, saving, make sure to, uh, click that description, that description link below and use my code to start yourself a digit. Um, but yeah, I was like, okay, um, I have this money coming in and especially right now at this very moment, I'm still in quarantine. So I'm just making sure that, um, that when I come out of quarantine, I feel like I put my funds in the correct places and, you know, I'm not just blowing it on things that don't matter, you know, just buying clothes or buying bags or anything like that. I'm really not a person to do that. I really want to invest in my financial freedom and, one of my goals is to completely get rid of my debt. So I make sure to put some money towards my debt. Um, what else? I put money towards my debt. I um, invested in some more stocks in the stock market that I feel like are going to rise up after, you know, this um, crash or whatever you want to call it is over. I did that. Um, I did a little research on Bitcoin and I'm just gonna dabble in it. I put, a, I invested a little bit in dip, uh, Bitcoin to see what happens with that. I know that it's a very volatile market, but oh well, I'm gonna try it. Um, but savings, savings is really what I wanted to talk about today. Um, savings is a means of self love, in my opinion. That means that you know, when you love yourself, you want to see yourself um, be successful. You want to know that, you know, you're well taken care of shit, anything unexpected via this whole situation, just like how all of this was unexpected. But here we are. You want to make sure that you're going to be OK and that you can still thrive in those situations. So saving is very important. Um, you should actually have three to six months, in my opinion, three to six months um, of your expenses saved up for situations like this, you know, so that you don't have to feel super pressured or you don't have to feel like, you know, your world is collapsing because of whatever financial turn that your life has taken. And you know that you always have something, you know, to the side should whatever happen, aside from all the other things that you're doing, you know? And I was thinking about it like this. I wanted to share this example. So basically, if you had a pizza and you know we work for our money right or we have passive incomes that we set up or you know we've made investments to where we're making money right so you're putting in all that effort and say that that effort is the pizza so you leave your home to go pick up a pizza right and you you bring it back home well actually before you even bring it back home you know you have to stop over your cousin's house to give them a slice and they got three kids so you got to give them a slice and then you got to stop by your friend's house to give her a slice and you know then you know uh your brother he needs a slice because he ain't ate today and then by the time you get back home you have either crumbs or very little to nothing for yourself 
to me, self-love is all about, you know, maintaining your boundaries and also putting yourself first, knowing that, you know, you should always pay yourself first whenever you're making any kind of income. And that's something that I want to talk about because I feel like my my channel isn't really something that's geared toward finances, perhaps. But I know a lot of the girls who follow me also are um, OnlyFans girls, and I suggest you guys do... Um, do be smart with your money and don't just, you know, get the fast money and think that, you know, it's all good. Make sure that when you are getting the money, you're taking it and you're you're putting it in places so that you don't have to do certain things forever, you know? So, I'm sorry you guys, I'm getting messages. Um cuz you know, honestly, in my opinion, there's nothing wrong with being an OnlyFans girl. There's nothing wrong with making money the way that I'm making it at the moment, but I know that my what my end goal is is to not even have to do this. You know, like maybe I just have an account up just because I want to and I do it for fun, but this I don't even want this to be like the biggest income. Like I just want this to be a income. And I want to make sure that because OnlyFans and things where I'm able to make money really quickly, um, really fast and make a large amounts of money, because I have this and because this is a blessing at this moment, I want to make sure that I'm still, you know, taking this money and putting it in places so that I can elevate my lifestyle continuously, you know, and I can look back next year and a year after that and be like, oh, wow, I remember when I made those choices back then and now here I am set up for a beautiful life and I hope I'm not all over the place but I mean I just want to share this information because I feel like a lot of people just kind of live day to day and you live to survive and you live and you're like oh I have all this extra money so I'm going to you know maybe invest in a new wardrobe which is fine make sure that you look nice invest in yourself always get those nails get those things but make sure that you're always taking a piece for yourself first always pay yourself first and I know that it sounds corny and I know a lot of us have heard this like a million times but when I say this it's because it's very true if you don't put something to the side whether that means you know get yourself an IRA account get yourself a insurance account um a life insurance account that saves for you and you know has sorry you guys um whether you have an IRA account or you know a lot of um, life insurance, if you guys didn't know, is a great way to put away money for your savings and have living benefits depending on what you get um, and who you're doing um, your policy with. Um, there are a lot of ways that, you know, you can start um, saving in retirement. Me personally, I... I start several things, you know, because I'm an artist. I don't have a conventional job. Everything that I do is pretty much creative and I make my money, you know, either from events, being a content creator, um, those kinds of things. So, you know, like it's important for me because I love myself making sure that I'm putting away money into this account and I have this IRA and I have, you know, my Acorns app and I have this. I just feel like there's do as much as you can to make sure that you're putting that money to the side and that it's not something that you're just spending just because you want to um, in the moment. Make sure that you're setting yourself up for a very successful life in the future and make sure that you're keeping your goals in mind. Because um, today, personally, um, and hopefully this isn't all the way over this, but I just want to share this because, you know, I am doing OnlyFans and I'm heavily promoting my OnlyFans right now because I just feel like this is the optimal time where everybody's on their phone. It's the perfect time to promote. It's the perfect time to get subscribers right now. So I'm on it. And, you know, as I was doing, you know, filming content and all this different stuff, I wake up this morning because it's been a very lucrative couple weeks for me. I've I've been like, you know, remember what you're doing it for. You know, like, yeah, it's nice that you're getting this money, but keep in mind what your bigger goal is. And for me, my bigger goal is to, you know, have a successful um have a successful career in music. That means that I need to be making sure that I'm putting away money for marketing and still coming up with plans e additionally to this and first and foremost and then letting you know my only fans be a way of making money and a way to invest into myself so that i can be even more successful than i've ever been with the goals that are the most important to me because i feel like it's very easy to get caught up in what's working like yes this is working yes i'm making tons of money i'm very happy about it honestly only fans has taken me to a whole nother level financially and I, for that i am forever grateful but I have to always remember that, you know, this is not my end goal. So for me, it's just all about being smart, 
um, having a strategy, making sure that I'm doing things that are going to put me in a better situation to where this becomes optional and super passive because maybe I won't even add any more photos or any video content at one point. Maybe I'll just have it open so that it can accrue passive income. Who knows? So yeah, finances are a part of um, everyone's life and I don't feel like anyone is to this way or that way to be thinking about their future and to be thinking about the finances um that they have right now and what to be doing with them where to put them my dog is being so annoying right now <sighs> anyway but yeah you guys i think i'm going to wrap it up there make sure to check out my links below so you guys can check out the apps that i'm using um for financial reasons digit like i said is my number one i try to get all of my friends to sign up for digit and to those who haven't shame on you because honestly there's no reason why you shouldn't be doing this because even if you have a savings account and you're you're really good with savings on your own having digit is just going to make you realize how much more you actually can be saving without even thinking about it and also a refer uh reframing moment you know, when you're saving money, don't think of it, oh, oh, I don't have this money now. Think of it as I I do have this money, but, you know, I'm, I'm building my wealth. Like, you know, like, I feel like a checkings account is something that, you know, bills are going out of there. Um, your everyday necessities are going out of there. You know, you just, that money is just up for grabs all the time. Make sure that you have your, your set percentage of your income or whatever dollar amount that you want to make sure that you're saving per week whatever make sure that that is going to you into this account you need this account you need a savings account with three to six months um emergency just in case anything should happen um you need a long-term saving plan whether like i said you do life insurance whether you get an ira um something like that whether you have enough money to start doing annuities and putting money up so that later on you can get that money back in payments and installments. Do it in debt. And now also, I feel like everybody should be investing at some in some capacity. Me, I'm trying to get the money and the dollar amount of uh, liquid cash that I have up so that I can go ahead and get some index funds because next that's the next thing on my list is to get some index funds. And I want to invest in... Um, what is it the s p 500 or whatever i want to invest i want to invest in that index fund so you know i'm putting the money there in my head and aside in my digit you know for my other money that's another thing about digits you guys you could set like certain goals like if you want to go take a trip to jamaica you can go ahead and put um jamaica and it will save money towards that you can put your date when you're trying to go and you know how much money you want to have by this date and it will save towards that day and depending on the amount it's either super aggressive or it might not be that aggressive you know but either way it's just that that extra help for you to help yourself and then um as far as just investing in stocks you know right now i'm using uh robin hood so check that out get robin hood um you can dibble and dabble invest as much or as little as you want to and yeah just just start to think about those kinds of things and leave me your guys' tips. Do you guys have any tips? Because I'm definitely not a guru, but it's something that is always on my mind. Financial freedom is my number one goal above anything else. So I'm always thinking about ways I can save money, invest money, make more money, um, make more money passively, businesses that I could start that are aligned with my personal beliefs and things like that. So let me know what you guys are doing. If you guys have any cool tips about savings, drop them below. Let's make this a community. And thank you guys once again for tuning in and make sure to stay posh. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, check those links down below in the pinned comment. Um, I also do music, so listen to my music and stuff. Okay, bye!